head I'm going to be using this is a UTC in yellow olive. And we're just going to start at the eye, quickly run down a layer of thread in the shank, and remove the base piece. Now I'm going to bring it down to about maybe a turn or two from the when the, the bobbin goes in line with the barb. Now I've got my golden olive cock crackle. Now all I do is bring fibres 90 degrees from the stem, as you can see there. Once they're in line and you're happy with it, tear it away from the feather. Tail length, at least the body length. Just hold that. Now I do a couple of turns going down the shank and that there puts me in line with the barb of the hook. And then removed the excess. Now I'm going to remove it to the point where there's two thirds of the body is a quill and one third is the thorax. Now, this is peacock eye and I've dyed it the golden olive. You can see there's the colour there. Now I'll remove one of these and then using the rubber I take away the, the fine hair and you're left with the quill itself. I'm going to catch this on the side and then Basically take your thread up, forming the body, all the way up to this point here. And then you could either rib or you can bring it up so that the, the quill is touching, which gives you a nice segmented body, all the way up. Just take your time, across your thread. And then what I do is I carry on all the way down towards the eye. Break off the quill and bring the thread back up. This balances everything out for you. And then to protect the quill I'm going to use some light bug bond. Just drop on the top. Now you could tie off at that point and then use varnish. You don't necessarily have to use the bug bond. It's up to yourself. And then just coat the, the quill with the, the resin. All the way around. Now don't touch the tail, you don't want to touch the tail. I will say I've got a, rot a rotary vice here, I can actually turn the fly and get it to sit the way I want. And then, now I'm using the Pro Torch, which is a single battery, single bulb, and to be honest with you, uh, ideal. It sets the resin extremely quick. In, com in comparison to the old torch, this is far superior. Now once that's set, I'm going to put a wee, wee drop more on it. We drop in the top. Second coat just finishes it off. Gives it a lovely glaze. And again, using your double needle, just cut them down. Just take your time. Get it to sit the way you want. And again, don't get it on the tail, if you can help it anyway. And then come in and set the resin. Now you're looking at least 10 seconds or so. Should do it. And there we are. Now we're going to put in the wing buds, and basically what I'm using is, uh, this is a goose bite. Now to get this colour, this is a great colour, both with midge patterns as well as this, when you're dying an olive type, or like the cruncher. Now you'll find that when you open these, uh, these bites out, the inside is yellow, or a yellow, it's, you can actually see the colour difference. In the very edge of the bite, it's got a hot orange or an orange tinge to it. And that's what you're looking for. Now to get this, what, you, what happens is, when you dye these, and because they're quite tight together, you dye them, the first thing I do is I put them in fluorescent yellow dye first. Once I see the yellow dye is taken and it's okay, then I add a touch of uh, fluorescent red. Now you got to get that balance that suits, you can have it slightly light or you can have it maybe too dark. So it's just a matter of messing around um, and you can easily work out the best way to do this. Now what I'm going to do here is take two off. And you may hear the, the ice cream van going by. 
Seems to know when I'm filming a tie and a fly. Anyway, I'm going to take two of them out. You see there, lined them up, tear them from the, the stem. Now there's like a natural curve, see that curve there? Now what I'm going to do is change them to my, my left hand. And with the, the curve of the fibre going up the way, come in, put them on down either side. Now depending on how thick you want these wing buds to show, depending on where you catch them in. Now I want it to be tapered. So if you look here, where I've caught them in, and there we are. Now if you want them slightly around the side, I can. Come, I usually come in with my nail. And you can force these down the side a wee bit. Once you're happy, then you can tighten up, carry on up towards the eye and back down. Now, I've got the peacock kettle again, dyed in the same colour, the golden olive. Now I tie these in by the tip. Now the right at the very tip is quite, it's quite brittle. So what I do is, Take about an inch or so away, then come in with two or three loose turns, draw the heddle in, and then bring the thread back up. Now, you could wind this over a layer of super glue or a varnish or whatever and get, give it time to set, but the quickest and easiest way to actually do it is to wind it up and down to form the thorax in the ER, add in a bit of bulk at this area. So then you've got a taper. Once it's wet, you should have a taper in the fly. The thickest part being the thorax. Cross your thread. Get two or three turns to lock it in and then trim that away. Now what, what I normally do is we rub a wax onto the thread and then come down and back up with a ribbed like turns so that you're catching the heddle in. It may mess it up slightly, but don't worry about it because it's fine, nothing wrong with it. The fly will still work well. You'll just have a stronger fly. The fly will last much longer if you do that. Now I'm going to bring the goose bites down either side. Now you could do a couple of loose turns first. Position the bites the way you want. Get them to sit. And I want it sitting along the thorax. On this side as well, just bring it down slightly. Again, once you're happy, tighten up, really tight, and then now, once you hold the, hold the thread tight, you can actually break these off. Very easy to do that. There we are. That makes for a, gives you nice wing buds. And then, all we've got to do is put a hackle on. And this is our hen hackle, this is a Chinese hen. Now this is a light ginger dyed golden olive. Now, what you've got is that nice brown ends, which makes for a nice fly, especially like this one. You want the hackle fibre length to come no further than the end of the body. And whether the number of turns, it's up to, well really I like end from a single turn. It depends on the fibre of the, the hackle that you've got. If they're really thick then a single turn definitely. Uh, if it's a bit sparse, then you could go a couple of turns or so. I don't. Once I start to see the hackle winding, uh, you can see how thick it is. Now I've caught this in the, by the tip, tucked it back, and then breaking it off here, keeping the thread nice and tight. And then what I'm doing is drawing the fibres back, and then doing a turn. Now I'll do a full turn, just to show you what it looks like. Now I'm going to do a wee half, just to bring it round, cross my thread, because that's plenty, and then fold it back, nice and tight, just keeping the thread tight, come in and what finish, just forget everything just now, this makes for a very neat head, just watch nothing goes forward with the eye, trim away your thread, and then you can break away your hackle. If you're f brave enough anyway. As long as it's nice and tight. And there we are. And that's your, uh, well, your quilled, olive quilled cruncher. And then all I've got to do is varnish the head. You're looking for a couple of coats. Now that's a lovely, a nice balanced fly. Once that's wet, 
you'll get a nice teardrop shape. And that teardrop shape basically is what the, f the fish see. And obviously with the, the hen hackle at the front, you're getting a lot of movement. Now, is the teardrop shape, the taper of the fly goes right in towards the tail. So, the good fly in the river as much as it is in the lochs. And again, you, c uh, you could shorten the length of the fibre of the, the hackle as well, which would give it a smaller and dumpier feel to the fly. Uh, there's different there's different flies you can... There's different ways you can actually form this fly. You can have a shorter body as well. So, but anyway, that's a standard one. So, hope you enjoyed that. And that's your olive quilled cruncher. <laughs>